And you, of course, are the expert on all my thoughts and feelings. You know, Dorian, unfortunately, much to my chagrin, I do know you all too well. You know nothing at all about me. You only assume or arrogantly presume to know the workings of my mind. You're way off base. Really? Mm -hmm. So you've had a complete change of heart about Rex. You think it's positively wonderful that he is so worthy of your daughter's hand. Absolutely. <laughs> Though I do admit, finding out that Charlie is his father helped me see the light because as you yourself have said, Charlie is a very caring, and compassionate, and honest man. Where are you going with this, Dorian? <laughs> is everything okay? Everything is wonderful. It's been divine to have this chance to catch up with Vicky. And I was just telling her how I thought you were such a wonderful, caring, compassionate, honest man. And that I'm sure you passed those traits along to your son, Rex. Uh, no, Phyllis. Uh, we should be heading back to Landview. We should be at our home office for this. I'll be heading right back to the office. Thank you. Not again. Yeah. Webster and Cobb both said it wouldn't stop, and it's not. What is going on? You know, they're coming at us from every angle. We put a fire out, another one breaks out, you know? You do what you have to do. I'll go get us packed up. You know what? We better pack, too. Yeah. Do you have a name? I don't need your help. Well, I'm not really sure I can help you, but if you don't give me a name, then we don't know. Then we won't know, will we? Don't be a fool, Clint. Bo and I sorted this out while we were up here, okay? And whatever little arrangement you and I had, it's over. Hey, you're not being smart about this, just like you weren't being smart when you put Bo and Nora in that car together. Let's not revisit that you lunacy. You rekindled something. And we can only hope that if you and I work together, we can put it out. So what would make it more perfect? Huh? You said being a Buchanan was nearly perfect. What would make it more? I'm not sure. I, uh, I just know that it's changed my life in a way that's, um... How's it going? <clears throat> well, I just killed Jared, so... Oh, that's too bad. Well, why don't you play, Natalie? Huh? Are you kidding me? She's gonna kick my butt. Matthew, I need you to come upstairs, please. Oh, uh, boy. Dude. Later. Lousy at video games, too, just like Paul, huh? <laughs> and you're apparently very good. I'm amazing. Yes, you are. That was quick. I know. We could play together. I mean, there might not be much competition, but uh, it might be fun to try. I'm not interested in playing any games with you, Jared. Uh, three hours, I'm hoping, if there's no traffic. Yeah, and I'm coming directly to the office. All right, thanks for your help, folks. Bye. All right, everybody ready to go? Yep. How you chucking? Oh, whoa, 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 boy. Don't forget your bag. I'm not schlepping it for you. Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> Well, this will be fun, all of us driving back together. <laughs> It'll be a real treat. And I will be back at the office as soon as I can. Uh, so will I. I'm just waiting on Nigel. He should be back in the store soon. All right, we'll get there when you can. All right, drive carefully. Thank you. Okay, you too. And, uh, Clint, I know you handle this challenge just like you handle the others. Of course you will. Jared is absolutely right. See you in Landview. Wait, Dad. Here, take these. Hi. 
Bye. Don't you need a pack? Dorian, I really don't know what you were going on about. Well, I got a lot of menu ideas, and you know, you ixnay the money dance, which is the same, but you win some, you lose some. So I guess that's it for now. Yes, I've had quite enough. Mm -hmm. mm, Okie dokie. So I'll make some more pre-millinary arrangements, and then I'll send you the bill. <laughs> I'll be on too. All right, don't wait for me, okay, Dorian? I'm just gonna finish up this nasty. Hmm. Well, um, I guess I'll take my notes and let you two lovebirds have a little chat. Actually, I'd like some good news for a change. Yes, let's make sure this time things are not messed up. Charlie, I do have one more little itty bitty little question. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, I have to take this. Um, I'll give you two a minute. Natalie, hi, darling. Are you at the lodge? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. Um, we're we're coming back this afternoon instead of tomorrow. Oh, okay. Well, thanks. Oh, is it because of the weather? No, no. The forecast is fine. Actually, something came up at BE. Good. Okay. Well, thanks for calling. How are you doing? I'm fine, honey. I'm uh, I'm actually at the diner with Charlie. He said he has something very important to tell me. Kind of makes me a bit nervous. Maybe he's going to pop the question. Oh, for heaven's sakes, I don't think so. <laughs> okay, darling, you drive safely, all right? And I'll see you later. Okay, Mom, I love you, bye. What, uh, what was that about? Ah, oh, it was just my mom. She's at the diner with Charlie. Did you say you think Charlie's gonna ask her to marry him? No, I, I mean, I was, I was just teasing her. He said he had something important to tell her. Okay, you turned your phone off. I'm shutting my phone off. <sighs> I'm all yours. And I wish that were the case. What are you doing in my office? Prep secured. No sign of anybody else around? Huh? Impressive people, mucho smooth. All right, we're done here, folks. Let's wrap it up. You wasted my time. Saeed's too. Come again? You didn't need five people on this bust. I'll take that under advisement. Thank you for your input. All right, let's get out of here. Damn, here I am, commissioner, making a rookie mistake. Leaving you with the drugs all that time. Sorry, John. Search him. What the hell are you talking about? Standard, John. We're keeping everything on the up and up by the book. We have three witnesses. Wouldn't want anyone to accuse John of skimming off some of the evidence. Vega? This is crazy, sir. Vega? There's something here. In his pocket. 